Well, it looks like your president finally got the COVID. They've been running away from that COVID for a long time now. They finally don't caught up with them. Well, you know, I don't, I don't wish anything like the COVID on anybody. And that there is a deadly force. But I'm gonna tell you right now, just be like Malcolm X said, chickens come back home to roost. And this time the chicken got COVID. Doggone, he done put everybody at risk by not wearing a doggone mask. Let me tell you something. The whole culture, see, because he's the type of person that if he sees you doing something against what he's doing, he just assumes that you're not on his side. You understand what I'm saying to you? So people be like, well, the president's not wearing a mask. He's not going to like it if I go around him wearing a mask because it's going against what he was saying. So I can't wear no mask and I got to show my loyalty to him by not wearing a mask and endangering my life. But I must show him in order for me to keep my job and my position not to wear a mask. So that's what happens. It's kind of crazy because uh, you know that's exactly the type of culture that's going on because a doggone reporter came in and said, uh, well, we come into the White House and all the reporters wearing a mask, but no, none of the staff wearing a mask. Well, you know why. Is mainly because the president not wearing no mask. You see, you wearing the mask. That means you're against what he's doing. You see how that works? Just crazy. But like I said, on, I don't wish any harm to nobody. But this is the type of person that we have in the White House. And now it's caught up with him. And I pray that nothing happens to his family. You know, as I ain't say nothing happened to him, but I don't want nothing to happen to nobody. Now he has to isolate himself. Now that 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 there was a a a, a, a professional uh, expert. That's what I call him. I call him professional expert. It came about on television, he was interviewing, he said, this is the difference between quarantine and isolation. He said, quarantine is when you suspect that you may have because some other people around you have had it. So you quarantine yourself for 10 days. That means that you can be around your family, but you don't want to be around others outside your family in case you do have it, you spread it. But isolation means you cannot even be around your family because this means that you do in fact have it. So there's no way that you want to be around your family and give it to them. So right now, the correct word for what the president has to go through and his wife is isolation, not quarantine. That's the wrong word to use. It is isolation. Now, with isolation, that means that you can't even be around any of your staff members. You understand what I'm saying to you? That means you need to correspond via device. Now, how in the world are they going to have a debate with you being in isolation? Well, you can't. Some people saying, well, you don't want to do it. And then this is his excuse. Well, I don't I don't particularly believe in that because it just hurts him. It hurts him because it makes him look like a fool. All this time he was saying he didn't have, he didn't worry about the COVID. And all of a sudden now he gets it. No, I don't believe him saying it is a saving grace. I do believe that he does have this here COVID. But the crazy thing about it is he told everybody on via Twitter. Now, that could be some conspiracy theories on that because he always telling somebody on Twitter. 
He always talking about telling his business on Twitter. Why is it that you would tell your business of such that everyone is going to be looking at you like, see, I told you so, but you're going to say it on Twitter? See, that's that, that right there is just crazy in itself. Only if you are speaking rationally, but this president often acts, it seems to me, irrationally. So therefore, we just don't know if indeed, in fact, that he does have this here COVID. Anyway, you also have to think of the fact, how you gonna conduct your business? How you gonna conduct your business if you have COVID? How is that gonna affect everyone? What if the staff people that you have been around contrast to COVID? Not necessarily from you, but from the AIDS. Because that's how the president got it. We assume. But that's what he was saying anyway. He could have got it from someone else. Who knows? So that means if they get sick, then the subordinates got to take over. And if the subordinates get sick, then the subordinates of the subordinates got to take over. Pretty soon, <laughs> you're going to have interns running the White House. This is just totally ridiculous. And it definitely could happen. Way to go, Mr. President. Not saying that it's your fault that you caught it, but you definitely put everyone in harm's way of your actions for the last year. Who knows what could have been different if you had acted differently January and February. Way to go, Mr. President.